Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back, playing some more Malfurion's Quest. Today, custom campaign for Warcraft 3. Of course, created by Turnrow. We are on what I think is the last mission, Darkness and Sorrow, and then perhaps an epilogue. Let's get right to it. Moments later, Malfurion makes his way through the underground passage of Nordrasil. So Valinda is still alive, but she did kill Magtheridon. Valinda's alive though, right? She did not she was not killed. I don't believe so. All right, last mission. I'm not sure what this is going to entail. But I guess we're inside Nordrasil or underneath it in some fashion. This is it. Everything I have worked to achieve comes down to this moment. Kil'jaeden's lackeys have followed through. I must hurry if I am to reach the Well of Eternity. So we must be fighting Kill Jaden here. Okay, so these are all of our items, so I guess Valinda is just not coming back here. Alright, so I'm going to keep the staff for the, the treants. I don't think that's a bad idea. Plus just a little bit of extra intelligence. Tablet of Pronouncement, for sure. Dragonstone, for sure. I think if we're going to be fighting like Kill Jaden later, uh, we're going to want this 33% reduced damage, uh, magic damage. Uh, I think we can replace the Nature's Amulet no matter what. D Demon Blade also very important. So, like, I would say these four are definite keepers, and then we have to decide what we want to toss into the, the rest of our our main slots here. Uh, not Orb of the Legion. Don't need this. Don't need Healing Wards. So, I mean, maybe we'll get more units later, so maybe that's a mistake. I don't know. Um, I'll keep the Soul Crown in here just in case I decide I want that. Dark Moon Necklace I'll hold on to, again, if I ever need to reload and there's like a Finger of Death or something, maybe that would block it. So we've got two slots. I'll Token of Healing. That doesn't seem too bad. I think that the Demon Blade is good enough. Sobe Mask, no. Hood of Cunning, no, no, no. Because you can't self-heal with the Scepter. Cadgar's Gem is a direct improvement over Nature's Amulet. We'll keep that in mind. I'll Shield of the Depths, what does that do? More mana regeneration. I don't think so, though. Valeria's Flute, Bow, Sphere of Divinity, Orb of Thorns. Because when he's in the Twisted Ancient form, and he's in melee range, I think this is actually great. Orb of Thorns will be perfect, and if we get the Golem out, it'll apply to that as well. So what do we want for our remaining item? I might just go ahead and grab the Claws. What is nature's amulet again? Just more HP? More HP is tempting. Where is that shield of the depths? No, that's not what I wanted. I think I'll take the, just the Cadgar's gem. You can't beat extra health on these on these boss missions. I think this is acceptable. I think this is acceptable. We got a good mana and health pool. Don't run away from me, you fools! How dare you! We gotta get some good how dare you's in if this is the last mission. Alright, get out there, Crystal Golem. I never named my Crystal Golem, I regret that. Okay, let's go Twisted Ancient. Long live the Legion! Sure, I don't know if you've noticed, but we have just laid complete waste to the Legion in general, so you should uh, probably change your, your taunt. Okay, we're taking virtually no damage. These Doom Guards are doing damage back to themselves because of the Thorns are. Yes, it did apply to my, my Golem as well. The one thing that's, that's nice is, like, there was a, I mean, he could have applied something where it's like, oh, when you're in the Twisted Ancient form, it drains his mana or something like that. So I'm grateful that that is not the case. Okay, they're killing each other. Let's get out some Treants. Just because we have two different types of summons, I mean, they're gonna do damage back on themselves. Wait, kill the Fellhounds first, please. Fell Stalkers, whatever. Because they do that, kill this one. I don't think those guys turned on Immolation Aura. Not Immolation Aura, Mana Shield. I have Immolation Aura. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. See, having this group drop a Rune of Mana when you were just fighting Fell Stalkers is just a little sign that the Mapmaker is smart and knows what they're doing. <laughs> And isn't leaving the player high and dry after an engagement where you are inevitably going to lose a bunch of mana to mana burn. And if you only have one hero, it'd be really shitty to just have to sit and wait around. Alright, so we're looking for a button. There it is. 
I guess I'm just gonna stay in twisted ancient form. Anything to pick up in here? A bunch of dead people. Okay. I think I skipped anything. Is this just mushrooms? Okay. Get in there, buddy. I guess I'm just gonna leave mana shield off because I don't need it. Slay the weakling. Lord Kill Jaden will reign supreme. You demons are nothing compared to the sacrifices I've made to get here. Malfurion probably doesn't sound that way when he's in giant twisted form. It's more like... You know, because he's made of wood now, isn't he? So is this working? Yeah, see, he's doing three damage to himself. I mean, it's it's something. It's something. And the thing is, we replace the claws of attack with this. We still get the six bonus damage. He can attack air if there's some reason he would need to attack air. So realistically, we traded the 10% back. That Doomguard probably did more damage to itself, back at itself, as the difference of us doing plus nine extra damage. I don't know. I don't really need to justify this choice. It's fine. Demon Blade, though, again, unsung hero Demon Blade. Azrathok. Lord Azrathok. Since his defeat, many have been drawn to its demonic power and fought for the weapon's ownership. Sure. Get him. Got him. Thank you for this. I sense a darkness in the dreamways. Yeah, it's you. Alright, so we gotta go find another button, it looks like. There it is! I found it. Okay. Forty uncovered a decent chunk of this map. This is it's this strikes me. Don't 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 do me dirty like that. Here. I'm I, I refuse to even leave my Oh, it's an elevator. Go, 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 get on there. Son of a bitch. I thought, I thought we needed to leave a unit over there. Well, we might as well bring our treants with us. There we go. I wonder if it will ever be explained what the Malfurion inner voice was. Or maybe it was just a deep character flaw of Malfurion's. He just was so self-conscious about not being able to save the world because the events in this timeline are so different that uh, he just went slowly crazy, and it was just his own inner voice. But it certainly seemed malevolent, like an external force, but it was marked as Malfurion's inner voice. I saw one comment of someone theorizing that it's probably the old gods, considering the highborn well, at least Ashara's highborn made a deal with the old gods, so it might be that, and not kill Jaden. The warlock has destroyed the path ahead to halt my advancements. What is this? What is this? I will not be stopped. Ah! After all this, stopped by some vines. He just trips and twists his ankle. That's it. That's the end of Malfurion's quest. I remember this place. I have always loved you, Furion. Was all of this worth it for you? I hope this path has led you to the result you wished for, my love. <laughs> Not even a moment of self-reflection, just get the fuck out of my face. I expected more of you, Furion. Was your path justifiable enough to reject everything I taught you about safeguarding this world? Hit him with another one. Get him with the green bird. Now who's this clown? Ah, Cathronis. My people and I followed you with the hope in our hearts that you would lead us to salvation. Get out of here, Cathronis. Stop hiding and show yourself, Isera. Enough with your games, Dreamer. As we speak, the Burning Legion advances on the Well of Eternity. I do not hold the power to cast dreams upon you, Malfurion. These are the nightmares that you hide within your own conscience. If Kil'jaeden claims the Well's power, the world will end. Tell me, Malfurion. Was it the Legion who killed my son? 
Did the Legion slaughter the guardians of Mount Hyjal and end your beloved's life? No, it was me. No, the one who must pay for their crimes isn't the one who seeks to end our world, but the one who turned against it. Malfurion, you're breaking my heart. And I shall be your end. You will not stop me. Oh, but I believe your nightmares will. Okay, we're on a different map. Well, it's the same map. I think it just covered up where we were. Defeat Malfurion's nightmare ghosts. At least they're not skeletons. They're just ghosts. If they don't have bones, we'll be fine. Here, hit this first, please. Blam, 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 blam. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's 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 insanely good. Uh, I guess let's go for this jerk over here. Let's turn on some... We are so slow. We are so terribly slow. Blast him, kill him. Mmm. Gotta kill these nightmare ghosts. Let's zip zoom out of here. Get a, get a golem out. That'll help us with the buildings. I also like how he says something is amiss. Yeah, something's amiss. I turned into a, a homicidal maniac. Something's something's wrong. I wonder what's wrong. Something's, something's strange here. I killed the one person I've loved in my entire life. I betrayed my allies from tens of thousands of years ago. Something is amiss. Torfala <laughs> Nordora. Okay, we got some generators. It's down here. Oh, the waygate. Oh, so this is back from like mission two, I think. Remember when we? That was kind of the disaster moment when I was fighting through this and I lost a bunch of units because I couldn't find the generators. All right, get this. Or rather, I went straight for the generators and didn't destroy the warp gate. Waygate. That's cool. It's like a little snippet from an earlier mission, which maybe that it'll be the same thing as like we move forward. There'll just be more and more parts that are built from other, like the terrain is built from other parts of other maps. There's Cathranas. This was entirely my fault. I shamed my people who fought for you, and now they are nothing but slaves and fodder for your enemies. I'm gonna get flame striked a lot here. We might be able to get him to cast it on himself if we melee him. I shall repel you, Shando, and stop you from destroying any more lives. He denies us three times. Ah! How dare, how dare you? Put me in ice, you fool. I'm gonna do this too. I don't wanna go just for him. Oh, he put the shell on himself. Getting something that dispelled would have been really helpful. Should have done that. Um, this is gonna slowly get out of control if I'm not careful. Let's get another. I think I just, just go straight for him, including the golem. There we go. Okay. Your dreams are only delaying the inevitable, Sarah. Oh, we're coming for you. We're coming for you, Sarah. Okay, now we're up in a new area. We can't backtrack. Ah, so now we're in Astronar, except it's destroyed. I think this is Astronar. No, nah, it's just Scenarian Circle. It shall be done. I don't care if they whatever. Let them let them do that. Oh, this is the this is where we let the plagued. This was that same mission where we let the plagued enemies in. It shall be done. Let's get let's get back here and kill the the chain healers. Who cast that? Was that the that must have been the furball? Yeah. Don't run away from me, you fool! Get him! <laughs> that was close, actually. I'm glad I got that. Look at him run away. They're cowards. Well, they're going to retreat to the moon wells. Here, hit him with one of these. This actually may destroy some of the buildings. Yeah, perfect. That's actually a really cool effect. I don't know how intentional that was. I assume it was fairly intentional. He had all the buildings at low enough HP, such that if you use the meteor shower, it just destroys all of them. We are the coming apocalypse. 
Um, I don't think I need to destroy all these buildings. So it is probably worth destroying this. Unless maybe we're supposed to be killing all this stuff. Is that Faradrella? Yeah. Okay, let's give him one of these. This should kill the Moonwells and the Ancient Guardians up there, or at least get them low enough. Blah, blah, blah. I talk lots in order to annoy my peers. <laughs> you truly are a nightmare. <laughs> That's goofy. Alright, these are magic immune. I don't even know why I cast that. Alright, let's kill the... That. 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 Okay, I guess let's kill these first. There's really nothing to do here except right-click. Um, you know what, actually? I'm gonna... I'm gonna swap out here. It shall be done. Could use a little, uh... Ooh, that was a good purge! She's just gonna... I guess she's just got, like, Mondo Purge. That's okay. I think this is effective. Yeah, we got her. Slowly but surely. Goodbye, Faradrella. We're gonna have to fight Scenarius again. I hope it's not that same super long fight. Let's just check if there's anything up here. It shall be done. Press the attack. Just in case, we'll destroy the altar. For Kalimdor. Okay. Hush the this is cool. It just forces you to revisit all the awful things that I you did. Dora. Oh, no, it is him. Ah, that's nice. There's runes inside the fountains. Invulnerable, invulnerable. Can, can we just avoid him? Wouldn't that be nice? Anu Dora. It shall be done. Anu Dora. Uh, okay, here we go. It so we're gonna do Scenarius again. The future protector of Kalimdor. That was how I once saw you in my eyes. I was wrong, and our people paid the price for the mercy I have shown you throughout the years. But not anymore. What's the plan here? I think we just want to kill these things first. I'm gonna come up here so that we can use the the meteors to kill the, the moon wells. Okay, good stuff. I, I assume we have to kill the... Yeah, we have to kill these first. Well, I don't, I don't actually know for sure, but it certainly seems like it. How dare you! How dare you! Okay. This went well, unless he's going to resummon these. Let's just grab our healing runes. I don't know what's up there. I could probably go and look. Yeah, fucking get him, guys. Actually, I'm, these don't do... These, uh, we have to do the chaos damage. Uh, turn this off. And, yeah, it's the same fight, but he has way less HP. So this is, this is fine. Turn on Immolation Aura. That'll slowly kill them. And that, you know what? They're damaging themselves. I'm not sure what that just did. Um, I don't know. Turn this off. I mean, turning it back on costs more mana than maybe just leaving it on. It's hard to say. There we go. The land and I are one. Your legacy was nothing but a failure, Scenarius. Just like Ysera's attempts to stop me. Nice. Another one down. This is cool how it just warps us all around and it and it covers up where we've been on the map. It's really neat. I can't go back. It gives us all of our mana back as well. Let's make sure we're saving in between each of these just in case it crashes or I lose. Is that yep, Taronda. I feel yeah, I feel like him coming to terms with Taronda's death should have you know been more. But after that, he just sort of become he became delightfully evil. <laughs> I've really enjoyed evil Malfurion. and he's just been so just so aggressive and insulting. Do you remember this place? We walked along these roads many times, sharing conversations about the peace and prosperity we would bring to the world. You lied to me all this time, my beloved. Give him one of these. How many waves does that do? Okay, that's fine. Give him one of those. 
She's definitely gonna summon more units out of the caves, right? That's that's inevitable. Press the attack. I guess we just leave immolation on. And unless she's got some kind of heal, this should work just fine. I don't have a stun. Elune, grant me strength! I, you know what, I think we just gotta try to burn her down. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll get her. <laughs> you... you should have joined me, Tyrande. Helped me through this. Be gone with your dreams, Ysera. Your heart is under my possession. The Emerald Dream cannot hold me any longer. Did you make peace with your dreams? If not, then they will haunt you throughout your life. That is the price you pay for roaming the Emerald Dream for too long. Your death will be as senseless as Cenarius's. I will trap you here and force you to relive through the atrocities you have committed forever. Your nightmare shall be our end, traitor. Oh, for a second I thought it was going to make us like go through every piece of it again. That would be kind of funny, actually. Okay, she's putting things to sleep. That's okay. It shall be done. You are ashamed to Cenarius. Oh, no. Does she mana burn? The land. Best I can do is just keep waking him up with the trees. I guess what I'll, I'll swap. Maybe this is a mistake. I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna fire shield myself and get on top of her. I'm gonna get a golem. Children of the green dragon flight, I summon you. The eternal dream world is besieged. Isera is attempting to summon reinforcements. Her portals must be destroyed. While I'm asleep. I'm still asleep. How long does this last? Oh my god. This is unconscionable. <laughs> oh my god. She's just going to keep casting that on me as well. We got to go Twisted Ancient. How dare you? Maybe if we don't attack her... Then she won't put us to sleep endlessly? I don't know. On the plus side... Oh my god. I don't know if it's her that's that's stunning me or not. You know what? It's, I think it's... You know, if we have other units out, that's actually what's hurting us. Does this work on air units? Yes, it does. Let's meteor strike. Wow, we're asleep. No, we're not. I think when we have multiple units out, she tends to use the sleep. I'm not 100% sure, but that's just what it seems like, doesn't it? Press the attack. Let's hit these before they get set up. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta get rid of these, these, these dragons that have been causing me problems. Alright, let's move on over here and hit this one. Eventually we'll kill these two. Once they're done, then we can stay on top of the portals. And then just keep using flame fire thing. I think these... Uh, maybe he could have always attacked air units. I'm not 100% sure. We'll just pick these up. Get back on her. There we go. Get some health. Life drain. Man, that stun lasts a long time. I probably should have just never switched out of his, his normal form. Okay, we're good here. As long as you right-click those portals as they open. Oh no, oh no. God, it lasts so long. <laughs> Let's see how many dragons. Uh, it takes a while for the portals to actually get going. We do enough damage that we can take them out. Wouldn't it be funny if we couldn't kill them by like six damage? I'm like, I should have kept the claws of attack. Come on. I'm not even gonna pick this up until she summons another portal. 
though it could be like Illidan. Your body is strong, but your will is weak. I disagree. Have you noticed that I'm a big tree? Come on. Come on. No. No! How dare you summon more portals and then stun me, you fool! She's summoning the portals faster now. Let's turn on immolation. Kill this stupid little idiot. Or get stunned for eight to nine seconds at a time. It's not that long. It's like three seconds. <laughs> Here, take this. Would this help at all, Meteor Strike? I mean, yeah, swapping between knife... If we could go back and forth almost instantly, that would be better. I would love to pop out and use my other abilities, but it's just not... It's not mana efficient, nor is it time efficient, I think. And it seems like if you have more units out, she puts them... She puts you or them to sleep. The heart is nothing compared to the strength granted to me by Elune herself. Oh, dear. Your suffering will be even worse than the one before you. What are you talking about? I'm referring to the warlock who contained my power and corrupted it with his own. The guardian of Tirasfall freed me from my torment, and I had the pleasure in killing the rogue myself. His illusions did not save him, and neither will your abominable powers. Okay, save. New music. It's intense. Her power surpasses that of the demigod. I must use the heart to weaken her grip over the dream at all costs. How? I must use the heart. It shall oh, be I see. Press the attack. Let's immolation it up. The power emeralds are maintaining Ysera's invulnerability. I must find the others. We're doing good. We're doing well. They could be all over the place. That's the thing. Should have picked that up. It's fine. Let's just head over to the other one. I mean, they're they're visible on the map. <laughs> Run! Big tree getting chased by big dragon. <gasps> the dream is real. Do this. Do this. Do this. Now here she comes. She's mad now. Okay. Get it, Emulation Aura. Let's go. Let's turn it off now. Is that it? My powers are weakening. Yes, yeah, say it out loud, baby. Not even your goddess can save you now, Isera. I almost feel like the, the music shouldn't be uplifting. <laughs> we shall see about that. You know, this isn't like a challenge to overcome. This is like a terribly morbid storyline. Come forth, my children. The safety of the Emerald Dream is at stake. Oh, no. Let's draw- we gotta draw her back to the- the entrance here. Going- we're going straight for the portals first. Ignore the other dragons. She's not stunning us anymore, though. That's huge. Come on. Come on. There we go. Throw down some meteors. Immolation ore is helping us out. Let's go grab some runes next. Perfect. Okay. Pick this up. Pick this up. Turn off immolation. She doesn't have some sort of... She doesn't have any sort of rejuve or something. Like, Sonaria's casting rejuvenation on himself was annoying. She doesn't seem to have that, so we're in good shape. Elune shall deal with you in the afterlife. Thank you. Big swings going down on Big Green Dragon. Almost got her. Almost got her. There we go. GG, one of three dragon aspects. So this is the end of the dream. You made a severe mistake, Ysera. Rather than using the heart for yourself to stop the legion, you gave it away to others to help them heal the forests. And now that very power has become your downfall. 
You know nothing of power, Malfurion. You exist because of the powers others have bestowed upon you, the balance and teachings of life taught to you by Cenarius. The cycle of the strong sharing their power with the weak has only caused pain and suffering. Like how you gave your blood to all the highborn, or what? It has also created life and stability in this world, all of which will now end because of you. Without life, power brings nothing but isolation. Nobody is left to carry you, Malfurion. You will become nothing more than a living hole, and no amount of power will be able to sate your thirst within. There is no one who will grant you peace. Ugh, curse you, Sarah, and her dreams. I hear Kel Jaden closing in at the final gate. There is little time. Let's go! For so I never went this way. I presume that this was closed. I didn't it try, though. Maybe not? It shall oh, rocks. Okay. We came from over here through the water, right? Yeah. Alright, to the final gate. Yeah, I presume this was all the same map, so a lot of it's already been used, but we just can't see it. Another button? So this is how the demons infiltrated Nordrasil. Perhaps these tunnels could be used to my advantage in reaching the well. How? I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe swap back to this guy? It seems like he attacks just as fast, if not maybe a little faster. Our DPS, our range DPS here may be good stuff. I'm not really sure. Hit this. Is, did he say that we could go through these? Or maybe that was just some, like an indicator for later. There's two buttons. I still like this crystal golem. At, at this point, it's a little, little bit, it's a little fragile. Not super fragile. Why are there three? Two, three, one. Okay. Something is amiss. It Figured if we didn't done. get it the first time, then <laughs> we had to hit him in a certain order. One, two, three, two, three, one, three, one, two, one, three, two, three, one, two. Whatever, you know. Oh, there's not too many, uh, not too many permutations there. All right, two infernals. They're immune to magic here. Give, give, give me another one of these. And we just have to sit here. So while we do that, let's just kind of keep an eye out. Are there more buttons there? Got to figure out the pattern. Oh, I, I guess there's a very narrow area here where we can actually path. We have to kill this thing. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, not like I could just run by infernals and expect them not to follow me. Though some of this stuff might leash. It's very possible if you knew the combination of buttons, you could just run by every single enemy to maybe make it go a little bit faster. The world is shaking. Something is happening. I can only imagine it's not 2-3-1 again, but let's try it. No. Three, two, one. Three, one, two. Two, one, three. One, two, three, and then one, three, two. Shall be done. Of course, it was the one that we picked last. Yep, we we did every single <laughs> option except the right one. Okay, let's get in there. Your world is doomed. Cause I'm a doom guard. Get it? Please don't stop. 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 Please. Stop. Kill these things. Mana burn. No! 
<laughs> What's the cooldown on that? It's alright, we got the tablet thing. Tablet of pronouncement. I pronounce that you have 50% more mana capacity or some mana regeneration. That's what he would say. That's what the, the voice on the tablet would say. The writing on the tablet? That's what these little squiggles mean. For Anudora. Waygate. Goom, 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 goom. I sense the great warlock up ahead. I must brace myself. Mana rune? Mana rune? Game says no. Uh, I guess let's do a hard save here so that I can quick save through the fight if it's going well. And then if something goes wrong, I can always reset the whole thing. He'll probably get his mana back when we start. Huzzah! He's like, punch in the air. The well of eternity belongs to me, demon. Ah, Storm Rage. I have heard so much about you. I must thank you for all your hard work in eliminating Magtheridon and my servants. What? What? You have hunted my lieutenants, believing that killing them would foil my plans. On the contrary, their deaths only facilitated my way to victory. Once I gain the Well of Eternity's power, I will rule the Legion unopposed forever. You indirectly help my interests more than those puny grunts ever had. Casting aside your lieutenants was trivial. It is you who was my target since the very beginning. I have come to admire your dedication in saving this world, Stormrage. The Legion, just like your own society, was full of weaklings too foolish to follow the strong. There is something within you. An ancient yet familiar power in which you have gained in your quest to stop me. Join me, Stormrage, and together we shall rebuild the Legion from the ground up and establish the greatest dominion the universe has ever seen. Your attempts to destroy Azeroth have failed one time after another. Its existence is proof of your incompetence. Do not lie as if your lieutenant's deaths were beneficial to you. You needed them to invade this world. Without them, you would not be here wasting my time. That's what I'm talking about, Malfurion. Give him some shade. This is, this is good. I see, we pissed him off. You dare reject my offer? I shall rip the skin from your dismantled bones and taunt your soul for all eternity. Ah, but that's my secret. Your new powers are nothing compared to mine, Druid. Once I claim the Well of Eternity, I shall become more powerful than Sargeras himself. Killing those who have stood in my way has only made me stronger. I have done all this with the end purpose of facing you. You are about to find out what eternal pain truly feels like, Stormrage. Now, come and face your demise. Okay, so now we'll do a hard save. But see, kill Jaden. That's my secret. You say you're gonna flay us, you're gonna peel our skin off. You cannot flay the tree that has no skin. But it is bark instead. Not sure if there's gonna be a secret to this one, other than hit him with, you know, use all this shit. Well, he kills our, our summons real, real quick like. It's gonna be a long one, folks. Strap in. Watch the game. We're gonna get him like 10% and the game crashes. I think we'll quick save throughout this just to ensure that, that this is going well. That's a pretty small arena. Death reigns upon you! Uh, that's a flame strike. That's, uh, that's bold of you to claim that that's death itself. Even, even my boy Kathranus was able to throw those down when we fought him. I guess do that. I mean, 
the thing is, I don't. He shouldn't have any additional units. This battle shall be your last. Like he shouldn't. I don't think he would have additional units. We'll just go ahead and turn on Immolation Aura. So we got like asshole v asshole going on right here. The finger of death is not good. I really don't know what to do about that. Let's quick save because again, there may be something I'm missing here. We might want to transform out and get our golem back out. In fact, I I think I I think I do want to. Obliteration beckons. Oh, the runes are down here. Let's let's just wait for him to flame strike a little bit more. Is he magic? I don't think he's magic immune. Now yeah, we can target him directly with that. No, attack the attack the guy. There you go. No, it's fine. Don't. I don't want you to anyway. Here, give me some trees. Seems like every so often, yeah, he throws down like a massive AOE. I think we stay in this form actually. We don't need to AOE. I sense the corruption inside you. Confront your own darkness. Yeah, okay, so now we gotta do this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Here, do this. That's probably... Actually, that was that was the wrong thing to do. We have a lot of mana and HP. We just gotta try to burn through them quickly before they can out-heal. Come on. Okay, good. One down. This is gonna be real long. And then we got an epilogue after this. I guess I'll just keep it all one video. And here's the thing about the short videos, because some I know some of you ironically complain. I get it, haha, that's fine. Keep keep doing that. But some of you unironically complain that the videos have been too short in the past, which I mean I really can't stress that's how irritating that is, because somehow you survive, no matter your death will come soon enough. I, I I've been very busy in real life. I'm I'm moving to a new state with a new job, and have to, I don't currently own a car, I have to buy a car, There's like big life changes. So yes, yeah, sometimes my videos will be a little shorter. And honestly, even if I didn't have that stuff going on, sometimes the shorter videos, they just work out depending on the day that I have to, the day that I have to be recording stuff. And you know, I'm talking about this now, because frankly, <laughs> There's not much else to talk about. I, I mean, the, the fight is interesting enough, but I think he could have maybe more abilities that you have to interact with somehow. Like, I think the flame strikes are more interesting because you actually have to avoid them. Now he's casting two at a time. I'm waiting for another crystal golem. Now he's casting three at a time. Okay. Give me Mr. Crystal Lord. I guess, you know, that's just the price I pay for it. You know, this series is popular. I'm happy people enjoy it. You know, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna scoff at that. I'm actually... I'm really pleased that people just outright enjoy to watch this. But as I will say to everybody uh, who watch any of the custom campaigns, is I would really highly encourage folks to go and download and play for themselves and give the map makers the recognition that they deserve. I will not be denied. This world shall fall. All right, we got them about halfway. But yeah, because, I mean, it's not really me. I'm not really doing anything that I think is particularly impressive. I, I, I mean, it's really the it's the creators of the maps who, who have put in way, way, way more work and deserve the recognition. They deserve your rating on Hive Workshop, make a Hive account, and actually leave a review or at least a, a star rating. It's, it's really valuable to them. And it just goes, I mean, you know, it's, it's solidifying that people enjoy this stuff you know I can play this and you know I can get likes on the video whatever whatever but it's you know it's more important that they get the direct recognition on their project page so I would just uh, highly encourage it because like if you like watching it you probably enjoy playing it I play this on normal um, I think hard difficult like it's a huge it's like a massive difficulty difference between normal and hard normal um, I don't want to say it was too easy for me, but it was it was a normal difficulty, right? It wasn't. There were some there were some parts that gave me some trouble, and then there were some parts that I sort of you know breezed through. Whereas um, hard difficulty, at least on Turner's other campaigns, are a lot more difficult. Like at least especially the macro sections, like they're very very hard to push into enemy bases. I'm not I'm not saying they're too hard. Uh, I'm just saying for me and you know at my my skill level, I would struggle. A lot more. And while I uh, sometimes do accept the challenge, 
uh, in this particular instance, like I said, I've been recording this series in tandem with having a lot of other external life planning and execution things happening that I, you know, I needed, I, I, I really couldn't take the time to reload and practice and min-max my way through a lot of this stuff. You cannot resist your own nature. Okay, we got these guys coming out again. Give in to your fears, your desires. Shadow Malfurion. How dare you. How dare you. All right, Immolation Aura. I think this is great. I think this works pretty well. What's... So, did they, like, cast that in the middle of the arena? That was pretty neat. Shadow Malfurion. I like these little interludes within the fight. Oh, there's four this time, I just realized. I like how there's just, yeah, these little semi-interludes within the fight where you have to fight other groups of units so that, interestingly enough, it does encourage you, I think, to fight, kill Jaden with... Night Elf form, and then you use the Corrupted form here instead. It shall be done. I don't At least I think it would be a lot harder if we just had to fight him head on and not have our Golem out. I will destroy you, Storm Rage, and secure my place as the true master of the Burning Legion. I mean, you... Aren't you currently the true master of the Burning Legion? What are you trying to say, Kill Jaden? I feel like you're admitting defeat right now. Might as well pick these up. Are we on fire? Something's... I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Is he doing damage to himself because of thorns? Let's go, baby! Limitless destruction at my command. I think he's casting some sort of flame strike here, I think. No, well, obviously he's casting flame strike. That, that was just my brain tripping over itself. He's casting some new ability, but I can't quite tell what it is. Uh-oh. 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 I don't know how much damage those do. I haven't stood directly in one yet, I think. Ow. Yeah, whatever this is that's cast on us. Oh, what's happening? I didn't get to quite read it yet. When he casts it again, we'll keep an eye out. Give me one of these. One of these. One of these. Any other runes? We're looking good. He has to realize he's lost by now, right? Like, he must know. Death reigns upon you. Oh, dear. There's a lot of them now. If we can just keep doing damage throughout this. Oh, yeah. That does a lot of damage. Look how much damage that takes off of our uh, off of our uh, crystal golem. Holy crap. Oh, I took the risk picking that up. We might... No, nope, we're okay. I was going to say we might lose the health we got from that. Your life ends to... Oh, God. What? Am I, am I in a safe place? I think so. Maybe right there. Oh, look at the ground. That's cool. This right here. Damage over time. Cannot cast spells. Okay, so it's like, uh... Flippin' soul burn. I mean, I could cast fire shield on myself and stand right next to him, but I prefer that he's melee attacking my golem instead. You know what? Let's quick save now. <laughs> yeah, right when a flame strike's about to hit us. Just because, again, if the game crashes or I die here at the last moment, we're in a pretty good spot. And Gollum's getting great. I mean, again, the Gollum is so invaluable here. This is fantastic. It stuns him every so often. It might stun him out of casting the Flame Strikes if you're lucky. Okay, come on now. Summon that Crystal Gollum. Let's go. I'm still soul burned or whatever it's called. There you go. Give him one of these. Yeah, we, I mean, we could get the double damage from the fire shield going, but I don't think it's worth it. I don't know if there's a... I don't think there's a way to avoid that. How dare you! Limitless destruction is at my command. I think... Oh, you might not be able to... I mean, he's stunned, but it's he, it, he casts it no matter what. Um... I think... My golem's gonna kill him. I bet my golem has done about 50% of the damage to this asshole over the course of this. Enough, I've run out of patience. Storm Rage, time to die. Oh, let's go. Let's go. You have wounded me, Storm Rage, but you do not have the power to defeat me. Once I recover my strength, you will be begging for a swift, swift death. Perhaps, demon. However, that will all change once I absorb the energies of the Well of Eternity. Yeah. 
Ugh. Ugh. I will return to finish the job. Trapped him in the ring of fire. I like how we're keeping him alive just so he can watch us turn into a monster. You cannot contain me forever, Storm Rage. This world will be mine. He's gonna watch as we attain what he never could. Oh, okay. You! Ha ha ha! Finally! I'll restore my beauty and free myself from the old god's curse. How did you get here? You fools don't know anything besides violence, which has proven to be your downfall. There are many streams that lead here, and by distracting the Kaldori and demons, you have made my journey so much easier. At long last, I will return to my formal glory. You fools. I will let you live long enough to witness my vision of perfection. <laughs> it's like a chain of people in stasis watching someone else take their hopes and dreams away from them. Ah, yes, the sweet feeling of power overcoming me once more. So beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha! The final showdown's gonna be with Illidan, I guess. What? You're still alive, Betrayer? Oh, we don't kill them, we just run straight to the well. We're like, it's mine. No, I cannot end like this. I must. I have to. Got her! Your cage cannot, tame me, cannot contain me forever, Storm Rage. Step aside. If he frees himself from my prison, I doubt even I can stop him. What are you talking about? We annihilated him right before this. I think I can manage. You have failed to stop me twice already. Why are you delaying the inevitable? Because I wasn't trying to kill you before, for Tyrande's sake. Nothing personal, kid. There was no other way. Tyrande was the only person who was able to fill the emptiness inside me. Now that she's gone, I truly have nothing. And now you've become like me. Alone, with no one to support you. I still have my followers. Oh? I suppose you're referring to the ranger who was guarding the entrance to Nordrasil. What have you done to her? You're still alive. I cannot let you pass. I've heard about you and the Guardians, General Starstrike. What has he done to you? Retreat now, or I shall slay you in the name of my master. Yeah, it's because she's got that worthless Q ability, man. You. Thank you. You will pay for killing my subject. Fate has always pitted us against each other since the very beginning, Furion. Now I shall claim my long-awaited vengeance against you. The Brothers Storm Rage! You can certainly try. You are not prepared, etc., etc. Give him one of these, give him one of these. Let's throw in a quick save, or you know what, do it. Yeah, let's do the full-on save. Yes, attack the golem, baby, let's go! Vengeance is mine. I don't know what he's doing. It, he heals when he does that. Ashara's just lying dead on the floor. Oh no. 
He's gonna mana burn us. Ah! Jesus! Something is amiss. Yeah, he just like zipped through the air. I mean, I guess he has wings. Die, brother. What am I doing? What? What? Oh, the, okay, so standing on these things heals us. And I don't know if there's a way around that. I guess it just moves us into the next phase of the fight. Okay. All right. I can get I can I can get into it. Did he miss us by doing that or are we missing him? Does he have some, he must have some sort of evasion and immolation aura just obliterates my extra units. He's going to turn into He's going to turn into demon form here pretty soon. We're like chasing him around the Ah, I guess Sure. This is an interesting mechanic. Because, like, it's not just him that can cast it. We can do it ourselves. Again, I think our other form is is not as good in this particular instance. I'm going to just look at the mini-map and see... If I can see where these things pop up. Stop. I guess now we'll go into Twisted Ancient form. Just because I need the extra HP. Do we get one? I don't think we can stop him. I think I think we just have to kind of match him as he does this. I don't think we could out DPS him before that start. Yes, he's getting more powerful each time. He's getting huge. It's because we're both drinking from the well. I don't know if it's giving us, I mean, it's restoring our HP. I'm not sure if it's increasing our stats or anything like that. Dude, the golem is still killing it. I mean, let's be straight. We should be rooting for Illidan here. It's just the fact that we're controlling Malfurion. The well of eternity is mine. Nah, dog. How dare you? How dare you drink from my well? I know, dog. Get him, Gollum. Dude, the Gollum has been killing it. The Gollum is killing it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna resummon the Gollum. Yeah, I like how we're getting huge, also. Like we're enormous. This poor Gollum, he's like being summoned into this world to fight at the sides of giants. We're gonna be bigger than our Gollum. I will avenge Taronda's death. All right, now he's a demon. I gotta get back into Twisted Action before I run out of mana. Vengeance is mine. We're chasing him around the whole flipping pool. Do this first. Okay, Demon Lord Illidan. Dude, we are huge. We are enormous. Get some trees out. They're going to die instantly. I can't tell if he's magic immune or not. Oh, he's diseased! The trees! The trees! Let's go! Die, brother! Oh, you fuck. I didn't realize he could step on ours. That's bad. I mean, how do we beat him to that? Well, now I think we're gonna die. Plus, another one of those pops out. Go, 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 go. This ends now. The whole Illidan fight thing, it's like, it's all about these, like, it happened with the runes in the original one. Oh my god, he is huge. Let's go. I guess leave Immolation or on at this point. It's all about where it's going to appear. He does so much damage, though, I can't afford to back up. I will claim your wretched life. Okay, yeah, this is what we need to do. Now we have to beat him to them, and we'll become even stronger. Yeah, I think we're getting huge damage boosts every time we step on these. Yeah, come over here to the middle, please. All the way. There we go. Okay, so now we're poised to take whichever one of these comes first. Though I assume it's going to be this one. He's mostly out of mana. This is all just we, we can't let him have them. That's that's what this comes down to. This is a cool fight. I think the mu like music in this campaign has been used really effectively. Like a lot of really good WoW music to set the the atmosphere. I mean, the only thing that sort of doesn't jive is the fact that 
you know, we're playing as a monster. So, like, this heroic music, like, you're doing it, is a little, you know, like, this is this is very macabre. Though, you know, what what is the other alternative is the question. Nah, dog, it's mine. Keep, keep sipping, Malfurion. Keep sipping it up. And then, oh my god, we are so large. I love it. He's not, he's also not benefiting from these, right? I don't think so. Well, if we actually can hit him, we're able to do a shit ton of damage. I'll keep using Immolation Aura as well. This is an interesting mechanic. You you, like, you have to like chase him to the beacons. No, 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 don't you fucking, no! God damn it, that's gonna take so much longer now. Ah! Come over here, you fuck. I saw it appear on the mini-map, but I didn't move directly at it. It's all right. Now it's just going to take that much longer. Why does he get such a ridiculous boost from them, whereas mine is, like, extremely incremental? Oh, he might actually kill us while we're sipping. I don't know. All right, come over here. <laughs> okay, this has the potential to go on for like millions of years. This, I mean, this literally could be endless, right? Though I assume once he, once Illidan gets enough beacons, he can kill us so fast that it wouldn't matter. I will claim your wretched life. I just wasn't trying to kill you last time. That's... <laughs> Come over here. Man, we almost had him. If I wouldn't have let him get that one beacon, he'd be dead by now. That's too bad. I think... Does he have evasion or is he... Yeah, I think he's just evading, which is really irritating, too. Maybe just remove the evasion. This wouldn't be as, uh, as annoying. The Well of Eternity is mine. Don't hesitate! I feel like at this point, our damage boost should be just absurd enough that which we should be able to kill him so quickly. And then we have to kite him away from the beacons. I think that's the smartest thing we can do. It's just kite him away from them. We then do some damage. I should leave Immolation Aura on as well, because that's persistent damage. We are so large. Vengeance is mine. Hi. Come over here, please. All the way. Follow the big tree. I think he is still benefiting every time. Like, he's still getting some... Some strength. Like, he's not healing, but he's growing in size as we are. Just not to the same effect. Yeah, just don't hesitate on the beacons. If I've learned anything, it's don't hesitate. There's gotta be a cap to this, right? See, and then he runs for it, because I think it's indicative that he's... <laughs> We're so huge. <laughs> this is cool. I like this. All right, go for it. Blast him. Almost got him. He's so close. Maybe two more rounds of the beacons? I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Circles of power. This is Warcraft, not Starcraft. Come on over here. All the way over here. Speaking of StarCraft, I realize I have a, a, a StarCraft 2 series ongoing, so when people say, Jay Barino, we know you have time to make more videos because you're making the StarCraft 2 episodes. That's not the point. <laughs> it's that I'm doing and playing what I want to play with my free time. I don't have extra time to do even more. I will claim your wretched life. We get it. We get the taunts. As much as I just want to keep auto-attacking him, we have to draw him back to the middle. I think we're actually saving ourselves time by doing this each, each instance. Oh my god, he's so close to death. Come on, don't miss! One more, come on! I can't not, I can't not. I can't not. If he steps on that and gets full heal, that would be so much worse. Please. There we go. We're so huge now. Just turn around on one slap and he's dead. Let's go. I will end you for what you have done. I must kill you.
I have to stop you. I must avenge Taranda. Taranda. It's interesting, too, because it seems like Furion was willing to let him live if he would have just not tried to kill us. Free at last. Impossible. Oh, yeah. Got him! We're giant, we're giant now, boys. We're even bigger than we were in the fight with Illidan. This is the second cataclysm we have triggered <laughs> in our short time after waking back upon Azeroth. I guess let's go in and watch the epilogue. Azeroth's fall. Dark times have ascended on Azeroth. Nordrasil's destruction caused a worldwide earthquake that resulted in many civilizations and cities to fall. From the ashes of this catastrophic event has risen a new order of evil, led by the fallen druid, with the mission of subverting all of Azeroth to his indomitable will and obliterating those who opposed him. Two months later, somewhere in the barrens, the last mortal forces of Azeroth brace themselves before an impending doom. Who's left? Thrall? We haven't really heard from the orcs at all. But they're about to get completely boned. I sense a change in the wind. Our time is nearly spent. I cannot believe we are to die like this, Nizdormu. Not after everything we've been through. There is no denying the truth anymore, Thrall. I too thought there was a chance to save this world. After witnessing my sister's death and the destruction of Nordrasil, I fled with the determination of stopping the fallen druid. Using my mastery over time, I recovered as many surviving forces as I could who might have otherwise perished in alternate timelines. It was with this army, Azeroth's mightiest force, that I hoped would drive the fallen druid back. After countless battles and severe losses, I came to the realization that the Fallen Druid cannot be stopped. He has become much too powerful, and every timeline I foresee always leads to the same outcome. One of death and the, th and the end of all things. I understand. I will attend to our forces and prepare them for the final battle. Yo, Warchief, my boys and I were talking, and we were wondering when we'll get our pay that's long overdue. <laughs> this guy. Not now, Gaslo. The entire world is at stake here, and all you care about is gold at a time like this? Get back to work. Well, we tried, boys. The spirits remain silent around you, young warchief. They sense your sorrow, your doubts. The druid's forces are nearly upon us, Cairn. I don't know how to feel knowing we will not make it out of this alive. Our fate is inevitable, young one, but it is not of your doing. You have done all you can to protect the Horde, and my people and I will continue to stand by you until the very end. Thank you, Cairn. You have always been a good friend. The 
Gum, 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 gum. The Dark One approaches us, Orc Warchief. His corrupt forces have us completely surrounded. Oh my god. It's a... It's a... Rowan the Wise guy. Then we shall be ready for them. Forces of Azeroth, our time is short. Our allies from all over the world have been destroyed. We are all that is left to stand against the darkness. Let us shine in our final moments and meet the forces of darkness with all our strength and might. If we are to end this day, then let us do so with honor. I'm getting more StarCraft II vibes from this. Like, this is an in utter darkness moment, you know? Or Azeroth. I love that Logan the Mysterious was brought back, you know? It has begun. So I feel like Turno's tried to sort of distance it a little bit. Anyway, I'll let this play and not talk. Destroy them. That's probably how he sounds now, right? <laughs> and then Thrall wins. <laughs> So obviously this was the bad ending. Uh, I think as soon as we we took a sip from the, the water, I think as soon as we killed Taronda is when I realized that there wasn't going to be some sort of redemptive arc where it was like, you can use the Highborn, but you'll still come to the same conclusive ending. Um, so the Sentinel ending is not done yet. I've said this before, but I will repeat it one more time. The Sentinel ending has not been completed yet. It was released at one point. It has since been removed from the ability to be downloaded as part of the current bundle because Turnro is updating it. So when he's done with that, we will revisit this campaign and we will play it. Uh, but until then, uh, here we are. I enjoy this macabre ending where Malfurion has turned into a lumbering monstrosity and uh, now runs the world and has killed everybody. <laughs> I like giant... Uh, I really like giant giant Malfurion. Cool looking guy. I like these uh you know, these are professional credits. Well done. And you can see the amount of work that people have put into this. All these users that have provided something that Turno has used to create this campaign. So that's what I was saying earlier is make sure that you you do give recognition where it belongs, which is not me, it's the creators of the maps. I did like the music quite a bit. I surprisingly have not gotten any gotten any uh, music copyright issues. We might on this at the ending here. This music seems like something that's going to get hit, but that's okay. Map testers very important. These maps felt really balanced. I mean, on the normal difficulty, nothing really stood out. I think the Scenarius fight was too long. I think he had too much health. Uh, I think there's an item on hard mode that, as you attack, there's a chance to dispel stuff. Yeah, so you stay tuned for the release of V2.0 that will bring out the full Sentinel storyline. Uh, if we would have had that item from hard mode, we could have dispelled Scenarius from healing himself. That would have been, or a chance to at least with our auto attacks. That would have helped a lot, but we didn't have that. If you enjoyed Malfurion's quest, feel free to rate the campaign at HiveWorkshop.com. What have I been saying? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. This was a lovely campaign, even though, you know, it is narratively dark. Uh, I enjoyed it. I really liked the new tech tree. Everything about it was fun. We had a very interesting team come together with the Highborn and then the demons. Uh, that was cool. And then Valind, Valinda, one of those two. Uh, so uh, overall, I, I really enjoyed the story. At first, I was like, ah, it's almost cartoonish how quickly Malfurion falls to evil. But as that is sort of like a fundamental assumption, he's evil now, right? It's This is not about his fall to evil. This is just him being evil. <laughs> there was, after mission like three or four, there's really not a, a question about it anymore. You're not like, maybe he'll turn back. Again, once Taronda's dead, then it's just reveling in being evil. And I enjoyed that. It was a, a nice opportunity of something that we don't get very much narratively uh, in Warcraft. So that was fun. Okay, well, with that, uh, we're going to move on to our next custom campaign next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, make sure you head to Hive Workshop. Uh, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I would appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you're enjoying to see more in the future. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye now.